Hello, this is Andrew Perkins, and this is part 13 in creating a blog using the CakePHP framework. In this video, I'd like to add an RSS feed to our blog. We're going to use the TupBlog2. That's the blog that we baked in the previous two videos. Uh, we are going to cover a lot of ground here, and I don't have enough time to type everything out, so I'm sorry, I'll have to resort to copying and pasting and then going over it. So in order to set up an RSS feed, uh, the first thing we have to do is make sure that we can parse RSS extensions in our URL. This is our posts index action and it displays all of our posts and this is the HTML view for that. What we would like is to be able to tack on a .rss here and view an XML uh, version of our posts so that they can subscribe to our RSS feed. To do that, inside of your config folder, open up routes.php and you'll want to use the routers parse extensions method and you pass to it RSS so that we can use .rss in our URLs. So we'll save that and close it. The next thing we need to do is enable the request handler component. We have to set that up inside of our posts controller since that this is an RSS feed for our posts. So we'll open up the controllers folder and go to our posts underscore controller.php file and at the top we need to create a new attribute and we'll call it components and this components will be an array and you can use this to set up components so the component that we need is the request handler component and we now have access to the RSS helpers in our view files the next thing we need to do is create an RSS layout file just like our normal PHP views needed a layout, so do our RSS feeds. So let's close this, and under Views, inside of the Layouts folder, you should have an RSS folder, and a default.ctp RSS layout already created for you if you baked your application. So if you open that up, you're going to have a default layout from CakePHP already created, but I would like you to delete that and we're going to create our own here and I'll explain it to you. So let me paste in some code. Here we go. The first thing we're doing is we're echoing out the RSS helpers header method and this will start the RSS document for us. The next thing we're doing is creating a channel variable and we're using the RSS helpers channel method to create that channel. It takes three parameters. The first one is an empty attributes array. The second one is a channel data variable array. You can name this whatever you would like, but I'm calling it channel data. We will actually uh, initialize this variable or set it up inside of our RSS view file, which we'll do in the next step. And this just sets up information for the RSS document. It sets like the title and description of the RSS uh, feed itself and other things as well, which we'll go over in a moment. The third parameter is the content for layout variable. This is just like the content for layout variable that we used in our regular layout, and this will render the code from our RSS view file. So after setting up the channel, we then need to echo out the RSS document method. The RSS document method takes two parameters. The first one is an attribute array, which we just set to an empty array and the second one is the contents of the RSS document and what we do is we just pass in the channel that we built above. We built the channel here and then we just passed it in as the second parameter and that's all you need for creating an RSS layout or a simple one rather. The next thing we need to do is to create our RSS view file. It's going to be a view file for our posts controller index action and it's going to display all of our posts, but it's going to do it as an RSS feed in XML instead. So we need to create a view file for that. So under views, inside of our posts view files, we need to create a new folder here to hold our RSS views. We'll call it RSS. And you'll want to create that index.ctp RSS view file. It's just index.ctp and I'll paste in some code here. Here we go. So the first thing we need to do is set up the channel data variable. If you recall, we set this in our layout. We set the channel data variable here. 
and we're creating it here inside of our view file. The channel data variable uh, is going to hold information about our feed and it's really simple. You just set up the title, a link to the RSS feed, its description, and you can set its language. And then we're using the set method. This is just like the set method that's in the controller, except that you have one for view files that you can use to send information to the layout. So we're passing in that channel data variable array. It gets stored inside of a variable called channel data, and our layout file can then use that. Afterwards, we're looping through all of our posts with a for each a loop. Uh, we have this posts variable via our posts controller index action. The paginate method pulls back all of the posts from our database, stores it in this posts variable, and it gets set and sent to our index actions. I'm sorry, our index view files. And we can then access all of our posts in there. So we loop through it as post. And it looks like, yes, that's correct. So then we echo out the RSS item method. The RSS item method takes two parameters. The first one is an empty array. It's an attribute array again. And the second one is each individual RSS item. That would be each individual post that we want to display as an RSS item. What we do is we can set the title, and we just echo out the post's title. We set a link to it so that they can view that post. We set its controller, its action. The action is for the view action and then we have to pass in that post's ID so that they can view it. We then set up the global or the globally unique identifier, I believe, and it's pretty much the same thing as the link, just giving a link to it. And uh, we then use the strip tags here on the post's body to set up its description, and we set a publication date using the post's created date. So that's how you create a view file to display all of your posts. Uh, the next thing we want to do is make sure that they can uh, access our RSS feed. How we'll do that is we want to have an RSS icon appear here in the URL bar so that they can click it. To do that, we'll go here inside of our views, close this inside of layouts, and open up default.ctp. This is our regular layout. This is not the RSS layout. And here we can use the HTML helper method and its meta method actually to create a RSS meta that will link to that RSS feed. So we can echo out the HTML helper and use its meta method. It takes two parameters. The first one is the type of meta. It's for RSS. The second one is the path to the RSS feed. So ours is to posts and it's index.rss. We save that go to our browser. Let's refresh this. Actually, stop that. We need to refresh just the index page. Here we go. You can see we have the RSS icon up here. It says subscribe to this page. If we click it, it takes us right to our RSS feed. It displays our title at the top, our title here. It gives a description and it displays out each one of our posts and it has a link to it. If we view the source, it's all ran together here in one line so you'd have to fix that, uh, but we can see that it's just a whole bunch of XML tags for the description. It sets its language, the title, the link, the globally unique identifier, and so on. So that's how you create an RSS feed using CakePHP. Uh, it's pretty simple. You really don't need to memorize uh, how to do all of this. You can essentially just copy and paste from project to project and change out pertinent information. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.